I wish to first address the issues of performance of licensed music collective management societies uh, in 2023. Uh, the chief executive, officers, CEOs, and the chairman of three licensed CMOs, namely the copyright um, Music Copyright Society of Kenya, MCSK, Kenya Association of Music Producers, CAMP, and Performance Rights Society of Kenya, PRISC, were invited to meet the Kekobo Board of Directors to account for monies collected in 2023. All the CMOs were represented by their CEOs and chairmen, except MCSK, which sent a director and a legal officer. From the information presented, by the three CMOs themselves, Kekobo established that the sum total of 249,687,212 was collected jointly from January to December 2023. However, there was disparity amounts declared by MCSK and those declared by CAMP and PRISC to, for 2023 joint collection. While Camp and Prisk declared a collection of a total collection of 249 million, and they accounted for 69, 61 million and 52.7 million respectively, MCSK on its part declared a receipt of 109 million, representing a short of, shortfall of 26 million. Cumulatively, MCSK declared total revenue of 139 million 295,094 comprising of public performance of 109 and mechanical income of 30 million. The Kokopo Board of Directors noted that royalties were paid only from quarter one of 2023 collection. All the societies did not set aside royalties from collection in quarter two. Three and four despite improved and business environment. Based on the above, the income ratio is as follows. As per the copyright, as per the copyright CMO regulations, the CMOs of ought to have distributed at least 173 million of 249 million that was collected or 70% of that collection. This, no, this is clearly not the case here because the money that has been distributed is only 21 million of 249 million, which is around 8%. There is a simple analysis that we are going to table here and before that, that I will come back to that. The simple analysis that we have here, that we are going to share with public, and it's very interesting. I'll go down to each of the CMOs, how they distributed their money that they collected. We have a list, and this list is not generated by my board but it is a list that has been generated and tabled and signed by CMOs to us. On a simple analysis of the amount that accrued from SK, from, to MCSK members, where these revenues were paid as the copyright regulations, reveal that each artist could have had at least six times amount paid during the year in the royalties as illustrated below. The amount of money that the artists they were paid, they should have been paid six times of what they were paid. And we are running a short uh, chart here where it is showing an artist by the name Rehema Lukose. And this is document from MCSK. Rehema Lukose who was the highest paid artist, was paid 757,092. But when we did further investigation and verification, Rehema Lukose should have been paid 
4.5 million and 40,000. So we are asking where did the rest of the money for Emma Lukose go? Ruben Kakame, Ruben Kikame was paid 122,410. Payment, if it, was da, if it was supposed to be done on 70% Ruben Kigame was supposed to be paid 734,000. <laughs> Otile Brown, who was paid 120,000, should have been paid 720,000. Where is 500,000 for Otile Brown? Marakwe's daughter, she's called Millicent Chipkore. A, 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 a Marakwe daughter with a hassle, Mali Safi, was paid 108,000. Upon our own internal analysis, she was supposed to be paid 640,000. Where is the rest money of her money? Stephen Casolo was paid 106. He was supposed to be paid 741. Joseph Ngala was paid 100,000. He was supposed to be paid 606,000. Simon Masha Praise McKenna, she was paid 110,000. She was supposed to be paid 660,000. Simon Masharia Musaimo, 98,000. He was supposed to be paid 588,000. And then we have someone like Jackson Wambua, paid 91,000. He was supposed to get 546,000. John De Matthew deceased. The family was supposed to be paid. He, they received 70,000 instead of 420,000. Solomon Mkubwa was paid 74,000 instead of 444,000. Then we have Joel Kimeto, who was paid 108,000. He was supposed to be paid 643,000. So we have sweet star, Haron Chiriot, who was paid 62,000 instead of 372,000. We have Steve K, 100,000 instead of 600,000. We have Kendagor Mwalimu, 72,000 instead of 432,000. We have Mamche Rob, 70,000 instead of 420,000. So we have Kipsang, 115,000 instead of 690,000. So we have Sipora Eric, Eric 100,000 instead of 600,000. Justas Mielo, 100,000 instead of 600,000. Kasembeli Watila, 10,000 instead of 60,000. David Sakari, 10,000, 60,000. Father, we note, and this is important also for the public and to the artist. All this information that we have, we have received from all the artists from the entire region of the country. Note that this royalties amount does not include royalties from mechanical, of which no beneficiary list was presented, which I am going to come to that. From our analysis, we note that artists from some regions like Coast, Nyanza, and Central were underrepresented and or were left out completely. I'm giving an example of Nyanza region, where artists, there are some artists, their music is played in every other um, forum, every other station, be it a TV station, radio station. The Wangla group were left out. Not even single artist was paid from Nyanza. Nyanza Port, Nyanza Luo, Nyanza Kisi. No single. Yet their music are competing with the Congolese music, Rumba. You cannot tell me that they don't deserve to be paid. So what, what was the criteria that was used to identify even the artist? It means there was no scientific, yet Regulation says that a scientific approach must be used to determine how someone's music was played. We shall demand explanation in this regard. The last comment demonstrates that royalties can change the life of artists if managed well. 
in an efficient and a transparent manner, especially also if the costs are brought down. The level of underperformance and high operating cost is observed with the other two CMOs as well. In terms of revenues, sources, the income from broadcasting stations, you are our friends, PSV and new media revenue is grossly poor. The CMOs have made various proposals to improve this performance, which Kikobo will should be acting in due course. We also noted with a lot of concern, MCSK that is copyright. MUC Copyright Society of Kenya presented its information in a lettered form and a list of members who recently received royalties in 2023. On review, the board of directors found information presented was, to us was county and variance with details on joint collection. The details and amounts received from mechanicals in 2023, including monies received from foreign entities like PRS London, PRS London, Capasso, and Google Island, totaling to 30 million, were also not accounted for. I want you to put it very clear that the mechanical money received in 2023, these are money that you get from Google and uh, online. Foreign entities like PRS London, Capasso, and Google Island, totaling to 30 million, were also not accounted for. Societies, the society, that the society explained that the lack of police enforcement, high level fees, and KRA fees are rare at principal reason for these small royalties. We directed the board, we, as board, we directed all these societies to pre present with us all these documents that, I'm, I, that is highlighted here. I don't want to read. You're going to go through it. They had to submit full income on mechanic and mechanical rights exploitations, explain disparities of amount received, submit list of legal fees, submit monthly breakdown, submit snapshots of uh, payroll cost of three years, submit uh, a list of board meetings and three-year cost comparison, submit the 2023 budget with three-year comparison, amount claimed from camp and prisk, detail of payroll cost for three years, provide documentary evidence of amount set aside for final royalties. I want to put it very clear that the society did not submit the above information despite being requested in writing. Prisk accounted for the 60, for 60 million, withdrawal did distributed 7 million. With a sum of 7 million, 3 million bending distribution. After discussion, the societies were directed to submit the following additional documents. When we were doing our own internal audit, when we were doing our own internal investigation, a list of board of directors meetings and three-year cost comparison. Budget with three-year um, comparison, com copies of lease agreements that Prisky is interested, provide documentary evidence of amount of money set aside for final royalties of 2023. In addition, information was submitted as requested, including the amount bending payment. Camp received 53 million. Out of 53 million, Camp, they distributed 5 million. And some of 1.9 million is pending distribution. So Camp, of the, on the of 53 million that they received, this is what we've noted. They, they, were, they distributed 6.9 million. And I had said earlier before, Prisk received in collection their share of 60 million. They distributed 10 million.
So I'll come to MCSK. The total amount of money after doing our own investigations, the total amount of money that MCSK ought to have collected and to have received as per the sharing is 160 million of their 53% market share. 163, 160 million was their share. Of the amount of money that they can account to us as a board, as per their documents, the only amount of money that they can account is 110 million. Out of around 166 million that they ought to have collected and distributed. In fact, to be precise, MCSK, their share that they ought to have collected and got them their share as per the distribution schedule of CMOs is 165 million. But the amount of money that it can be accounted today is only 111 million. So we are asking MCSK to account for 54 million that are not appearing anywhere on their records that they tables to the board, yet it is in their books of accounts as submitted by Camp and Prisk or the joint team of CMOs. The MCSK could not account for the sum of 56 million. The amount comprises of 26 million received from joint collection and 30 million from other CMOs abroad and Google Island. It is, should be on record that it is only CAS MCSK which is mandated to collect money on behalf of the artist from the other international platform, Capasso, Google, and the rest. And this money could not be accounted. And this money was supposed to be distributed and shared to the artist, not to the MCSK pockets. I also want to put it very clear that upon inquiry and upon going through all the documents by my board, that's the, then the board made recommendations and directed that these matters be handed over to ESCC. MCSK matters to be handed over to ESCC and DCI for investigation to account for the missing 56 million that they cannot account, which was supposed to go for the artist. Two also, ESCC and DCI will also ask MCSK why disparity in distribution where artists from other regions were not included in the list. And then thirdly, where did the rest of the money go for the artist? An artist who was supposed to get 4.5 million is given 750,000. Where did the rest of the money? We also want ESCC and DCI to tell us why the directors were paid. Are they artists? Because you find also the highest people who've been paid as artists are the directors in MCSK. We also want the MCSK also to provide more documents which I have not provided, but I'm sure this one they will provide to ESCC. ESCC will ask MCSK to provide, and DCI will also ask them to provide their books of account for the last two, three years. MCSK also. I'm sure ESCC will ask them also to provide the remunerations for both the CEO and the directors. You will be surprised how much money MCSK CEO is earning. You will be surprised how much 
the board members are paying themselves. It has come to our attention, the money that were distributed to the artist. There was this story that was going everywhere in the social media, somebody claimed that I'm going to distribute 20 million. From our own investigation and our books here, MCSK did not distribute 20 million as claimed earlier. They distributed 7 million to 16,000 members, only 7 million. Out of even 110 that they accounted, they went ahead and distributed only 7 million to the artist, 16,000 members. It is, it is wrong. They are paying themselves salary cumulatively around 60 million a year. A CEO earning 1.3 million. In a year, a CEO should be ashamed of earning 14 million and distributing 7 million to the artist. A board that earns the entire board in a year of MCSK gets over 14 million in allowances only to distribute 7 million to the artist. The least artist should have gone home with 60,000, not 1,200 if MCSK was transparent and account accountable to the, its members. What else did we note? We note with a lot of concern, they ended up having an event at Safari Park where they spent four million to distribute seven million. That is poor leadership, poor administration. They are not even concerned about their members who are suffering. And you can see the life of these members. Artists, we celebrate the artists in this country. Music is the best thing. Everybody listens to music. But they are the, their lifestyle, the way they live, they can't make men ends meet because of mismanagement in the CMOs. Therefore, we are handing over I we've, as I had said, we have directed that the matter be handed over to ESEC and DCI for investigations. The letters to these two institutions has been forwarded. It has been dispatched by my CEO upon instruction by the board. And my office shall be making follow-up on the progress at the DCI and the ESEC next week. The same issue also, we've also escalated this matter to, the, to our minister. She's also following up an internal mechanism of auditing. We are also going to appear before parliamentary uh, committee also to table the same documents so that parliament also can help us to also do further investigations and recommend a number of administrative actions that needs to be taken in streamlining the sector. We have also requested for an urgent meeting with uh, IG uh, to establish a working framework to enable restoration of enforcement for the CMOs. Now, finally, Kekobo management have been tasked to consider the prospect of government led CMO for all rights music. There is a new act amendment. It's going to be copyright amendment 2024 where it is being proposed that we are going to migrate to one CMO. And we have enough reasons to believe that we should be migrating to one CMO instead of the three CMOs. Right now, it is interesting, all the three CMOs are sharing the same office. They are using the same platform to collect royalties. At the point of departure is distribution and paying salaries. And each CMO, the three of them, they are also their members are the same. Their members subscribe to the same CMOs, same membership. So why do we have three organizations playing the same role? We are, will propose that we hope Parliament is going to expedite the process of enacting the new legislation so that we have only one CMO, one CEO with only one board. Today we are dealing with three, member, three CMOs with three boards. 
around 26 board members, which is pushing the cost so high. And I want to emphasize that the views and, and best interest of all stakeholders will be considered in that regard. We'll make sure that during the process there will be proper public participation once Parliament gives us the opportunity. We are going to engage all the stakeholders and I'm happy that most of the CMOs that we've engaged are also um, uh, pushing for the same one CMO. Even the, the era of uh, multiple entities is over. We will not allow that. We want to have a system that can be accountable to the artist, that is their members. And then we also want to put it very clear. The same will improve performance cut cost, promote transparency in the interim. The Kekobo management is in the process of also, pre um, remember also government have directed all institutions to migrate to e-citizen. We are not going to be left behind. In fact, one of the biggest challenge that is in the, uh, in collection of royalties is poor system of collection. You cannot monitor how media, how social media, how Google, or any other new system is playing music. So we are preparing the management of Kekopo under the leadership of the CEO, are preparing document for necessary transition to e-citizen payment platform. That will be much easier. It's long overdue. We want our one collection, a one-stop shop for collection of royalties. During the same period, Kekobo is, has also received information. Uh, now there is something very interesting that you must have heard. And now I'm saying that this, for most of the members of the Fourth Estate who know me, because I was recently the chair of the committee of uh, health. And I'm very thorough. I'm happy that I'm coming with a lot of experience from parliament to this board. And that is how we've managed to come out with all this information that they've been hiding. It must be remembered that we are the first board to have asked all the CMOs to provide their books of account. It has never happened for the last 15 years. They've been refusing. Anytime a CMO is asked to provide information, they've been running to court. I want to put them in not on notice that we will not allow them to hide in courts. They must come forward, provide all the documents. Two, we are a regulator. CMOs are licensed by the government of Kenya, which means for them to collect any revenue, they derive mandate from the government of Kenya through Kekobo, which means CMOs, as much as they are private, they fall under the public regulations and the Companies Act. And last week, it came to our attention that Music Copyright MCSK held a special general meeting on 16th, February 2024, which stated purpose to amend its memoranda and article of associations. Matters of CMO's meetings, qualification and tenure of directors are governed by the Copyright Act. And the Copyright Collective Management Organization regulations. Under the law, Kekobo ought to have been formally notified of the meeting, and members of the board of directors must retire after serving two terms, three year term. But what they did, they went ahead and do an amendment whose effect is to allow members who have served their full two terms three years, that is, six years term, to be eligible for re-election or to stay on. And that would be inconsistent with the law and represent an attempt to circumvent the rights of members to choose new directors. Should this unwarranted change be confirmed and suitable penalties will be imposed on the copyright, Music Copyright Society of Kenya. It is going to be null and void. In short, what they did last week trying to amend the law or the act to allow the members who finish their term, it is not sustainable by the law. So that is clearly out of order, and it will not be accepted, and we will say they have fallen short of 
regulations. And therefore, they have to conform. Remember also that we had also issued six, time, six months license to all the three CMOs. And I think in May, that's April, April, the six month period is lapsing. We have already started. Part of the records that we are tabling here today is part of the document that is required for you to either get a license or not. So we will be reviewing also the license. Our, my board will be meeting next month to determine which CMOs are eligible to be given the license. And any CMO that will not have met the criteria, I want it to be put it clear, and I want to be on record that the license will not be issued. They must conform to the Public Act, the Company Act, and the COBO regulation, and the CMO's regulation that were gazetted. I think that is what I want to bring to the attention of the members. And I want to put it very clear that my board is working with all the stakeholders. We are not harassing anybody or anybody. Anybody who feels we want to put it very clear under collective responsibility in government. Every minister has a responsibility to ensure that the government performs to the best. We are happy with the, with the leadership of our cabinet minister, cabinet secretary. But at the same time also we are very happy because of the attention uh, that, and the support that we are also getting across government. We are getting support from government, other ministries. We are happy with the support that we are getting from Ministry of Sports through Sports Fund. We are happy of the support that we are, we are getting from the Ministry of Interior through enforcement. And we are happy also of the support that we are getting from the Ministry of Public Service of reviewing the structure of our organization. Remember, the Public Service and our ministry are working closely so that we migrate from Kekobo board to an authority, which is a good step. It's going to come with more powers. So for anybody to claim that the minister who is speaking, he's not supposed to speak, then perhaps himself doesn't know how government operates. Doesn't mean when the president speaks, they will say, why will the president mention this? Yet it's the minister who's supposed to say that. In fact, I want to call those people, whom our, our partners in the sector, who are speaking recklessly against government officials, that we are putting them on notice. Everybody is entitled. Government is run under collective responsibility. And we are happy that Kekobo is getting enough attention from all the stakeholders, including even Treasury. We are supporting us, which are going to support us with additional funding. We are happy we are getting a lot of support also from the DPP office, from judiciary, in an effort to make sure that sector is streamlined. We are also equally very happy that we are also getting support from the president digital team led by Itumbi. So for anybody to purport that uh, Itumbi is not aware of what is happening here, I want to say that we are discussing together and we are working very closely with our CS, Aisha Jumwa, we are working very closely with the minister, with the CS um, public service, Moses Kuria, and we are working very closely with Utumbi in making sure that we strive this sector. And I want to tell the artist, come next year, nobody is going to steal your money. We want to streamline the sector and make sure that whoever is entitled, whatever you are entitled, you will get your money. Just imagine, somebody is getting 700 instead of 5 million. You can imagine how it can change somebody's life. I sympathize even with somebody like Kimeto. His song, hit song, Huro Huro, has been there for a very long time. And the old man is only getting with 1 to 1 1.5 million views. Then you are taking home a, a million, a, a thousand, a hundred thousand. Yet from our records, you are supposed to go home with a million. You, media, media has remained to be only institutions to be playing music, helping these people so then they make more money through events. If it was not for the media, the artist could not be making any money. I want to, somebody to explain to me where is Saudi Soul in this? In an event, one event here, Saudi Soul made 15 million. 
Last year, Saudi Soul were the highest. As in Saudi Soul, you want to tell me they are not even entitled to get 1,200? Just talk to the, the list. Where is OG in this? Someone who, when he releases a mu um, one music, it costs 1 million, 1.5 million, just views immediately within 60 days, within six days. It is very, 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 very wrong. The criteria, we are even being told that they sit down in a room like this and come up with a list of the artist and say, who is the friendly artist? They are, you, you, that is how you are considered. There is no fairness in distribution process. Ule mwana mziki wako anaitu wanga nani bana? Ule waongla, ule jamaa uyu anaitu waji? Uyu wa ujanu? Yes. Prince Inda. Being given zero. That is wrong. It will not happen again as we move forward. I think those are the remarks that I wanted to pass and put it across today. So I'm, I'm inviting you for questions. Na yale ambaya tumezungumzia kama body. Ni kujaribu kufanya uchunguzi na kujua ni pesa kiasi gani ambayo ilikusanywa. Na tumepata kwa stakabadhi ambazo zilileta ta, um, vitabu vya urasibu yaliyoletwa na CMOs. CMOs ni zile vyama, vyama ama taasisi ambayo tumewapatia leseni ya kukusanya pesa za wanamziki. Pesa zote ambazo zimepatikana zilikusanyika ni milioni 249 lakini cha kusikitisha kwa milioni 249 zile pesa ambazo wamepata wanamziki ni milioni 21 peke yake kwa vikundi vyote vitatu vyama na tumefanya uchunguzi wa kindani hizi vyama ni prisk kuna chama cha camp na kuna music copyright Hizi vya matatu vyote vilitulete ya vitabu vyao. Tumekagua vitabu. Priski kipata milioni uh, milioni stina moja. Na kwa pesa ambazo walikusa uh, milioni stina moja tayari wamepeana milioni milioni saba. Zingine zilikuenda kwa mishara. Na camp walipata milioni amsini na mbili Na zile walisoku peana kwa wasani Ni asilimia sita Walipeana milioni kumi Kikundi cha wasani ambacho ina Chama cha MCSK ambayo ina wasani wengi, saidi alfu kumena sita. Kwa vitabu vietu inaonyesha kwamba ilikuwa na milioni, ilikusanya milioni miyamoja stina tano. Lakini kwa urasibu tuliopata kutoka kwao, walitangaza kwamba walipata milioni miyamoja na kumi. Kwa uchunguzi wetu tunaweza kutipitisha kwamba MCSK, Mkurugenzi mkuu na board members wanatakikana wajibu madai ya kupotea kwa pesa milioni amusini na nne ya wasani. Tumefanya uchunguzi na tukawaandikia mabarua ya kutaka wao watueleze kwa kina na watupatia vitabu vyao tuyakague na walipoturegeshea barua ya kutupatia usizitaji tukagundua kwamba tunaweza kuwa na sababu ya kusema wametapeli wa wanachama wao ambao ni wasanii hiyo ni sababu ya kutosha ya sisi kupeana malalamiko kwa ESCC tume ya ufisadi na taasisi ya DCI iweze kufanya uchunguzi Pesa hizi zili kuenda wapi? Milioni amsinane ya wasani. Licha ya hilo kuwa kosa la kwanza, kosa la pili pia. 
ni kwamba walikuwa watakana kupeana pesa asilimia sabini kwa yale waliokusanya MCSK. Lakini kila ambacho tumeona walipeana asilimia ndogo sana kwa wasanii. Msanii ambaye anasemekana alipopea sana na akapata asilimia na akapata pesa nyingi 1757. Kwa uchunguzi wetu tume tumegundua kwamba huyo msanii angepata 1000 milioni nne na nusu. Msanii ambaye kwa mfano aliye kama Ruben Kigame niseme tu kwa ufupi alipewa 1122 angepata 1735 Marakwe Dota alipewa 1108 angepata 1640 wa mwisho Otile Brown alipewa 120 badala ya 1720 tunataka kuuliza pesa ya wasanii ilikwenda wapi licha sheria kuwepo pale na licha pesa kuweza kukusanywa ambayo ingeenda kwa wasanii. Kwa haya hayo ndio mambo ambayo tunataka na kuweka wazi ili uchunguzi uweze kufanyika na ukweli uweze kupatwa. Vile vile pia tumesema kama board na tumetoa taarifa na tunawaandikia wahusika. Wachunguzwe pia jinsi walivyojilimbikizia mishahara. Mkurugenzi mkuu wa MCSK ampata mshahara ya milioni moja na laki nne kwa mwezi kwa mwaka mzima hiyo apata milioni 15 na wasanii unawapatia milioni saba. bodi yake almashauri inapata milioni kumi. saidi mpaka milioni 15 na wasanii wanapewa milioni ngapi wasanii wanapewa milioni saba. vile vile tunataka tume ya ufisadi pia ichunguze Mbona walienda kutumia saidi ya milioni kumi na milioni nne kufanya mkutano ya kupea wasanii milioni saba pale Safari Park? Nani alifuta hiyo pesa? Mwisho tumesema pia hizi vyama vitatu vimekuwa gharama kwa wasanii kwa sababu ni pesa ya wasanii ndio wanajilipa mishahara na malimpikizi yao. Kwa hivyo tunataka kutangaza tumeanza utaratibu ya kuweza kuhama kutoka kwa vyama vitatu ya kusimamia ukusanyaji wa pesa ya wasanii tutengeneze chama kimoja ambacho kitasimamiwa serikali itakuweko ndani wasanii watakuweko ndani na washikaji dau wote watashirikiana kusimamia pesa zao vile vile tunajaribu tumes, kulingana pia na taarifa ya rais na makata tuliopewa ya mwisho wa disemba ya kusema kwamba lazima tuamie mtandawazi wa e-citizen katika ukusanyaji wa ushuru wa serikali na pesa zote bodi imeelekeza mkurugenzi wetu na mamaneja wa Kekobo waanze mipango na mikakati ya kuamia ukusanyaji na ulipaji wa pesa kupitia huo mtandao wa e-citizen hayo ndio tunataka kusema kwa leo vile vile tunataka kutangaza kwamba kuna mswada mpya ambao umeelekea bungeni kubadilisha uh, sheria za sekta kuna sheria itakayokwenda bungeni na tunataka kusema itapigwa msasa na washikaji dau wote sisi hatuwezi kata kauli kama keka, kama kekobo ama wizara iwezi kata kauli lazima isungumziwe na mwishowe tuweze kuangalia ni nini tutafanya ili kuimarisha uh, ndoto ili ndoto ya wasanii itimie mwisho ninataka kusuta mti yote mwenye ameweza kukashivu kiongozi wowote ndani ya serikali tunataka kusema na kushukuru sana kwa ule uh, usaidizi na pia kusikizwa tumeipata kutoka kwa wizara yetu kupitia waziri wetu Aisha Jumwa tunajivunia wa kutushika mkono sisi. Na vile vile tunataka kushukuru pia wizara yake Moses Kuria Public Service. Tunashukuru sana kwa sababu anaingilia kati kuhakikisha kwamba taasisi yetu imeambatanishwa na zile taasisi zingine na kuratibiwa kati ya taasisi ambayo serikali inaangazia kwa kuipatia nguvu kwa kutekeleza majukumu yao
Tunashukuru pia kwa sababu tumeshirikiana sana na mkurugenzi wa kijitatali ofisi ya rais bwana Itumbi. Kwa sasa nataka kusema tunashukuru sana kwa yeye kutuunga mkono. Tumemuona kazi yake kwa mitandao na tunashukuru. Kwa hivyo mtu yeyote kujaribu kukashifu waziri yeyote kwa kuzungumzia mambo ya wasanii tunataka kumkemea. Na tunataka kumweleza usijaribu kutoroka kwa sababu mbinu ambayo unajaribu kutumia ni kama kupiga mbizi njikafu utajanua uso wako. Hivyo ndio mimi nataka kumweleza yeyote ambaye anataka kukashifu kio uh, wizara yeyote ama afisa yeyote wa serikali ambaye anaungana na sisi kuhakikisha kwamba tunaisafisha sekta hii. Wenyewe wanajijua. Wewe uh, kumbatiana na matatizo yako. Mimi nimezungumza juzi nimesikia mtu anazungumza anasema Moses Kuria ni nani, Itumbi ni nani. Leo mimi nimezungumza kama mwenyekiti wa Kekobo ambaye mimi ndio ninapeana leseni. Kekobo ndio inapeana leseni na ndio tunazungumza kwamba MCSK lazima watutangazie, watangazie wasanii pesa zao zimekwenda wapi 